everybody, this is Anna, and I want to welcome you to Set It Free Saturday. This is something I'm going to be doing once a month where we look at limiting um, mindsets and find ways to obliterate them. So I do a lot of healing work with people in which I clear old memories and I help remove obstacles, but I realize that even when the initial problem is removed, it often comes down to habit and how we live our lives. So even though we are cleared of the wound, which was causing a pattern of behavior, we still have the pattern. So we have to take active steps to change the pattern we have been living with. And um, there's lots of ways to do that. And usually I help people strategize what they're going to do next to try to set their new pattern in place. But one thing that's really crazy simple, but really effective is to identify a mindset that's in your way and just write a correcting mindset for yourself and then put it up all over your world so that you are reading it, you know, regularly in the bathroom mirror and in your bedroom and, you know, at, on your the dashboard of your car. And every time you read it, it's like you're setting a new pattern in place. And you do that for 30 days and the new mindset is there. And it sounds so ridiculous and so easy, but it's really effective. So I pulled two cards to help us look at what mindsets we might be wanting to work at or need to change. And a second card to show what the new mindset might look like. So I pulled two Major Arcana cards, which to me is pretty interesting because Major Arcana cards are about major life lessons. The first card I pulled was the High Priestess Reversed. So the High Priestess is the incubation card. It's that time in your life where you had an idea and it's sort of brewing under the surface, almost like you're pregnant with the idea. So it's brewing and it's, it's coming to fruition, okay? But the reversal of the card suggests to me that maybe all we're doing is dreaming, like a person who has lots of um, neat ideas, but they never see them come to pass. That's a belief that says, well, I have lots of, um, I can dream of a lot of things, but my dreams never come true. So you end up being perpetually pregnant. So that's how I would see the reversal of the high priestess card is the belief that you have a lot of great ideas, but they're not feasible. They're not realistic. They're not doable, or you don't have the power to make them happen. Now the correcting card is the chariot reversed. This is really cool because the chariot card is about making things happen. You can see this is a charioteer is sitting in his chariot. He's got two sphinxes in front of him. He doesn't even have reins, which basically tells us that the second he decides what he wants to do, they're immediately going to carry him there. They're just going to read his mind and take him there. So this is a seven card. So it's about discernment. It's about saying, what do you want? Make up your mind, set your path, and away you go. Now, the reversal of the card tells me this is something we need to internalize. We need to realize that once we know what we want and we say it clearly and definitively and we clear out the old mindsets that tell us we're not capable of that, the sphinxes in our lives, which, which set our path, will immediately move into action and we'll be able to be unstoppable in what we want. So the correcting belief might be something like this. I have within me a desire to move forward. And once that desire is crystallized, nothing can get in my way. So if you're discovering that you're struggling with the high priestess reversed, that may be your correcting mindset, or you could write it your own way, obviously, but whatever you do, go ahead and write that mindset, write your own version of it and put it up in your world for the next 30 days. And every time you see it, stop and read it just for a second and give your mind a chance to receive it, you know, and, and, and internalize it. And over time, your mind will agree to that. Really the mind believes things because of repetition. That's basically how beliefs are created. So you are setting a new belief. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. So you're going to want to find the right wording, the right phrasing that makes you feel powerful. It connects to the idea of the chariot. And, um, and see what happens. In 30 days, this new mindset will be in place and um, you'll start seeing things happen. So I hope that's helpful for you. And I will be with you next month for our next Set It Free Saturday. Bye.